Do you, Aurelian Barra, take Sarah Alexandra Kerloba to be your wife in a covenant of marriage before God? I do. Do you promise to love, honor, cherish and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only on to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. To my dearest friend on earth, there's no way to tell your worth. I could sail the distant sea, still be lonely. And God said it's not good for man to be alone. And I believe that. You and uh, ever since I've known him, he's always been kind, gentle, smart, and selfless. He's always been funny, he's always making me laugh. And I'm glad he's my friend. Because it's just nice to have people like that around. You'll see when the sun is shining. We climb the mountain. When the leaves are falling. I'm falling for you. When the winter comes. I'll keep you warm. One of Sarah's passions, apart from riding horses and knowing everything there needs to, you know, there is to know about horses, is who can guess? Painting, yes, painting. Now I don't know how good uh, Rello is at painting, but um, there is room to improve there if Sarah helps him. just so many good teachings in the Bible about the, you know having a godly marriage but everything hangs on like you know you see sometimes a big awesome painting on the wall and then behind it is a, a nail or a hook on the wall and all this big beautiful painting hangs on this string on this hook at the back I give my own you can try to, to, to obey all these commandments, all these commandments regarding marriage. You, you, you can try, but if you don't love Jesus more than anything in this world, it's all in vain. It's, there's going to be cracks. I'm going to paraphrase Reverend Zachariah. He said that Every kingdom on this earth rose up and fell in the past. And every kingdom that rose up in our days will fall. But the kingdom of God, which, is, which was established 2,000 years ago, will forever remain because it's a kingdom that's driven by love. And 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says that love never fails. If he is the most important person in our lives, then everything will fall into place. Can you say an amen to that? All the problems that we have in our families, all the problems that we have in life is because somehow God is, is, is not there first in our lives. Their new path is like a new empty canvas now and they're starting to spread all kinds of paints on that canvas and it's a, it's a canvas that will last all their life and um, hopefully it will be a masterpiece uh, and a legacy, you leave a legacy for everyone that knows you guys. 
I guess the secret um, of, of producing a masterpiece is um, using the, the brush of love to spread your paints on it. And we all, we all want love and we want and we, everyone has got their ideas about love and what it is and what it's not. But um, the author of love is love itself. God is love. The most challenging prayer you will ever pray is on the knees with your wife or with your husband. You know why? It is the most powerful prayer. Because when the two of you come in one accord, heaven opens. The devil knows this. That's why it's the most difficult prayer. You'll do everything. You'll watch cartoons. You'll watch movies. You'll surf the net together. You'll put the kids to bed. You'll do everything. Wash the kids. Whatever. The most difficult challenge is to actually get on your knees and pray together. With this ring, I deal with. It is a token of my love for you. It is a token of my love for you. It is a sign of my faithfulness. It is a sign of my faithfulness. And my pledge to you. And my pledge to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Let's just bow our heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring Aurelian and Sarah to you. As the two of you have now become one, may you always remember that the faithfulness, love and perfect timing of God present in your single lives will continue in your new lives together, for he is never changing and his plans for you are perfect. When our lives begun Thanks for coming to our special day. It took lots of planning and it was all worth it to see all of you here with us. And it means a lot to us that you could all make it out here because you were all special people to us that we wanted to invite. And seeing you all for the last time all together, it's gonna make it easier. So I hope you like the effort we put in to everything and that you enjoy the night as much as we will. So thanks again. more likely to scream at the sight of a frog? <laughs> and then I saw Sarah and, and Sarah was like, oh hey look, I haven't seen you for so long and I was like, hello yeah I know, it's been ages and we start talking and as we're talking I remember this, this, uh, this moment when I drowned her and I'm like, I hope she doesn't remember that. Uh, and then Abby came, uh, and Abby came and approached us, and Sarah's like, Abby, do you remember Jeremy? And Abby's like, no. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then Sarah's like, he's the guy that drowned me when I was a kid. So she obviously remembered that story, and, and so do I.